Ever thought Ruby on Rails can be as perplexing as a Rubik's Cube? You're not alone. There's the vastness of the Rails framework itself. It's like stepping into a library with thousands of books, but you don't know where to start. Then there's the Model View Controller Architecture, or MVC for short. It's like trying to juggle three balls at once, except each ball represents a different component of your web application. You have to keep them all in the air, and they're all interconnected. So, how can one navigate this labyrinth? Is there a secret cheat code or a map hidden somewhere? Well, it's not as daunting as it seems. Let's dive in. Understanding the MVC architecture isn't like cracking the Da Vinci code. It may seem complex at first glance, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be navigating through the labyrinth of project files like a seasoned explorer. Let's unpack this enigmatic acronym, shall we? MVC stands for Model, View and Controller. Picture this. You're at a fancy restaurant. The model is the kitchen where all the ingredients are stored and dishes are prepared. The view, that's the dining area where beautifully plated dishes are served. And the controller, well, that's the waiter, carrying orders from the dining area to the kitchen and back. In the realm of Ruby on Rails, the model is where all the data-related logic happens. It's like the brain of the operation, processing raw data into something meaningful. The view, on the other hand, is the user interface what you see on your screen. It's like the face of the application, responsible for presenting the data in a visually appealing manner. And then there's the controller, the middleman between the model and the view. It's the messenger carrying requests from the user to the model and then delivering the processed data from the model to the view. So why is MVC so important in Ruby on Rails? Well, it's all about organization and efficiency. With MVC, you can separate your code into different sections, each with its own responsibility. This not only makes your code cleaner and easier to manage, but also allows for more efficient teamwork. Imagine a team of chefs, each with their own station and tasks, working together to whip up a gourmet meal. That's MVC in action. So let's recap. The model, the brain, handles the data. The view, the face, presents the data, and the controller, the messenger, facilitates the communication between the two. It's a beautiful dance, a symphony of code, if you will. Now nothing can replace practice, so roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. If you started to learn piano and you've never played a note in your life, you wouldn't expect to sit down and play Beethoven's Fifth Symphony perfectly, would you? Of course not. It's the same with Ruby on Rails. You can read all the theory in the world, but without practice, it's just words on a page. The beauty of Rails is its practicality. It's built for creating. So why not take advantage of this and start building? Start simple, maybe a blog or a to-do list. Don't worry about it being the next Facebook. The goal here isn't to create a viral sensation. It's to learn. Every line of code you write, every error you encounter, every solution you find, it's all part of the learning process. It's through this hands-on experience that you'll consolidate your knowledge and pick up new skills. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. In fact, embrace them. Mistakes are just learning opportunities in disguise. They're the stepping stones to mastery. So don't shy away from the challenge, dive in head first. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Keep plugging away bit by bit. You'll be amazed at how far you've come when you look back. Last but not least, remember that you're not alone. The Ruby on Rails community is as helpful as a genie in a bottle. Yes, you heard it right. The beauty of modern technology is the vast array of online platforms where you can seek help when you hit a bump in the road. Stack Overflow and ChatGPT, for instance, is like an all-you-can-eat buffet of knowledge. It's filled with ready answers to your coding conundrums. And then there's GitHub, the bustling city of code, where you can learn from the best by reviewing others' projects. Let's not forget Rails Forums, the cosy local pub where everyone knows your name. It's a place to share your struggles, celebrate your victories, and most importantly, learn from others' experiences. Remember, every developer, even the most seasoned ones, started as a beginner. So don't shy away from asking for help. After all, even geniuses need a helping hand sometimes.